Welcome, welcome. Today we are going to paint this chill pineapple. This guy is super cool. Um, this one is a lot of fun because we can really personalize it. Um, when it comes to the face and the hairdo, we're just going to have a lot of fun with that. Um, just making it your own also with the background as well. So there's a lot of different options with this guy. So for today's painting, all you're going to need are our little teeny detail brush, a small round guy, and our medium flat. Um, you should have everything set up as far as your paint colors go and your water. So for paints, you're going to need red, yellow, a little bit of blue, and some black and white. So those are just the main colors you're going to need for this painting. Again, like I said, those two brushes, some water to clean your brush, and a paper towel to wipe it off. And that's really it. So without further ado, let's get rocking. So we're gonna start with our little brush, our small round, and we're gonna start with some yellow. So we're gonna sketch out our pineapple. So a little brush, I'm gonna dip it in the yellow. And then I'm gonna to come to the right side of my canvas. So from the right side, I'm gonna come down a third of the way. So the way that you can figure out a third, you cut it in three, so one, two, three. So I'm coming down a third of the way, and then I'm gonna come in towards the center about a quarter of the way. So it's like a half of a half. So you cut it in half, half again. So right about there, I'm gonna make a little dot. That's gonna be the top of my pineapple so you can see a little bit closer right here i just made a dot so if it's a little higher a little lower don't stress out it's all good it's a pineapple so again it's just a third of the way down about a quarter of the way in and i just made a little dot then i'm going to come to the bottom center from the bottom center i'm going to come up about a quarter of the way as well and make another dot just like that so you should have two dots. I know it's hard to see the yellow. You should have two dots, one right here at the bottom, which I came up a quarter of the way from the center, and the other one that we did right at the beginning was a third of the way down and a quarter of the way in from the right. So once you have these two dots, I'm gonna connect them by making an oval. So the top of my oval is gonna go right through this little dot, and the bottom of my oval is gonna go through this dot. So now keep in mind as we're making it, don't worry if it's thin or big. All pineapples are different and they're all kind of different as far as their wideness, right, and their tallness. So if it's a little taller, a little fatter, it's all good. So I'm just going to make my oval going through that first dot. Now going through my bottom dot. And I'm bringing it right back up and through. So I should just have my oval sketched out. So don't worry if it doesn't have to be perfect, we're gonna be filling it in. You just want your oval for your pineapple kind of tilted to the right. So once you're done sketching out your oval, we're just going to fill it in. So we're going to go to our big brush and start filling it in with the yellow. And it really doesn't matter um, your strokes for this one. You could just fill it in however you'd like. I'm just using straight yellow. It's nice and bright. Now, as you're filling in your pineapple, you want to make sure that you don't have globs of paint on your canvas. You want to make sure you smooth it out nice and neat, because if you have big clumps of paint, it's going to take forever to dry. So when it comes time for us to do like the face and different layers on the pineapple, it's not going to stick. 
So it's really important that you smooth out any chunks of paint that you have. I'm going to make my pineapple a little fatter. He's been quarantined for a long time. He's gotten into the snack stash. Making my pineapple big. And we're just filling in our oval. Make sure there's no clumps whatsoever. So while your pineapple is still wet with the yellow, if you want to get fancy, we're going to do just a little slight shade on the right side. So if you have some red, I'm just going to mix a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow, so I have a light orange. And you don't want to do a lot because it can get crazy really fast. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my brush nice and thin. So it's going to be up and down, not flat like this. It's going to be vertical. And I'm just going to go along the right side of my pineapple, just the right side. And I'm going to just add some of that orange. So once I add that orange in, I'm just going to now turn my brush to the flat side, the horizontal side, and now I'm going to have part of that brush on the orange and part of that on the yellow, and it's going to just help blend it right in. So it's very slight. It's not a lot of orange. It's very, very little. Just enough to add just a little hint of a shade, right? Get a little bit of dimension. And so I'm going to take that big brush that we just used and I put it in the water, right? So whenever we're not using a brush, we always leave it in the water. It keeps our brushes nice, right? So I'm putting it in the water. I'm going back to my little guy because now I want to start sketching out the hair, right? So the top part of the pineapple. So I'm going to take my little brush and I'm just going to dip it in green. If you don't have green, we make green with yellow and blue. Okay. So I'm going to have a little bit of green on my brush, the little small brush, and I'm going to show you what we're going for right here. So we have this little hairdo right here going on. So I'm going to show you how to make it look just like these. If you notice the shape of the hair, these are like raindrops, right? They're all little raindrops going all the way around. So that's the style I'm going to go for. But if you want to make yours a little bit more pokey, a little bit more rock and roll, that's cool too. So the first one, I'm going to start with the center. So the very top center of my pineapple, right here at the very top, I'm going to do my first middle um, piece of hair, right, the green stem. So from that middle dot, I'm going to do like a scoop, like a little U, right? So the U is going to go right through that dot. And then I'm going to start bringing both sides gradually up to a point. 
and then I'm gonna bring it to connect to the other side. So you have a nice teardrop, right? So it's curved around and I'm bringing it up to the point and down. So you can make them just straight up. You can make it have a little bit more of a curve to a point, it's up to you. I'm gonna give his hair just a little bit more umph. So that is one of his leaves, right? So I'm just doing one so far. I'm gonna not fill them in until I'm completely done sketching them all out. So that's the first one. Now I'm gonna add some to the side. So I'll add one right here on the right. So same thing, I, I want them to kind of overlap a little bit, so I'm gonna start a little closer, okay? So right over here, I'm gonna do the same thing with my scoop, right, my U. And this one's gonna kind of curve to the right. And then I'm gonna meet this one down to the top of my U. So that's my second leaf. Now I'm gonna to go to the left side and I'm gonna do the same thing. And this time I want the point to curve to the left just to give it some flair, right? So I'm gonna start a little bit over to the left of where my center one is, make my little dot where my U is gonna go through. I'm gonna start my U right through my dot and I'm gonna curve up and just flick out to the left. And then I'm gonna bring it down to the top of my U. So we should have three big teardrops in the front so far. We'll just make sure they overlap into our pineapple just a little bit. We don't want any space there. So just to review, we put in our oval for the pineapple. We filled it in yellow. Then we went in with a little bit of orange for those that wanted to get fancy. And we just did it along the right side just a little bit and just blended it into our wet yellow. After we were done, we started up on the leaves on the top. So we did our first teardrop. So it's like a U and it goes up to a point. And then we did one on the right and one on the left. So now once you have these three outlines, then I'm gonna put their two little guys poking through. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna just do the little points. So you can either do an upside down V if that's easier for you, or if you wanna get fancy, you could just kind of curve to a point and bring it down, just like it was kind of peeking through over here. So you could do an upside down V or you could curve it, whatever you prefer. So we should have five here. If you wanna have more hair, you wanna have just luscious locks for your pineapple, feel free to add a lot more or have them longer, completely up to you. Um, but once you have them done, then you're gonna go ahead and you start filling them in. So I'm gonna go back to my bigger brush. I'm gonna fill in all the bigger areas with green. And then I'm gonna go back with my smaller brush and just fill in those little small parts. So big brush to fill in the big areas and small brush for small areas.
right, so while our leaves are drying, we're gonna start working on the background. So for the example, I have kind of like an ombre, right? Just like a light pink that gets lighter, 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 lighter as it gets closer to my pineapple. So you don't have to do it that way. You could change it up. You could do a completely different color background, a completely different style, but I'm gonna teach how to do that style in particular. So I'm gonna to go to my big brush, make sure it's nice and clean. I'm gonna make a light pink. So I'm gonna take a little bit of red and a little bit of white. And whenever we mix colors, we don't use all of the colors that we mix, right? So I'm not mixing all of my red and all of my white. I'm just using some red and some white, just a new place on my palette, okay? And once I have that little bit of pink, I'm just gonna put it in this top left corner. I'm just gonna do a diagonal strokes. And I'm only gonna come in just a little bit, maybe an inch or two, right? Just a little bit. And then I'm gonna do the same thing down here in the bottom left corner. And the same in the bottom right corner. Now, when I'm done putting those in the different corners, I'm not going to clean my brush. I'm going to keep it the way it is. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to add just some straight white. And I'm going to, with my brush, I'm going to start going over this section right here. So it just kind of blends in. So right where my pink ended, I'm putting that white right over it and blending it up. Okay, and I'm gonna keep on coming out with it. And I'm saying, oh, this is a rough edge. I wanna make it smooth and go out more. So I'm gonna add more white. I'm not cleaning my brush. I'm adding more white. And adding more white. And it's just gonna gradually get lighter and lighter and lighter. So you have a nice, gradual, blended flow. Okay, so I'm doing the same thing with these corners. I'm just adding straight white right where the pink ends. So it's gonna kind of overlap a little bit of that pink. And I'm just going back and forth with those same diagonal strokes. And I'm gonna just gradually start moving towards the center of my canvas. And I'm gonna say, oh, I need more white. So now I'm gonna to go to more white. I'm gonna overlap where I ended and just keep on working my way towards the center. So don't be hard on yourself if you're struggling a little bit with the blending. Blending is a really tough thing to do and it takes a lot of practice. So just try your best. It'll still be pretty. So you're this guy, same thing, right where the pink ends. I'm gonna add some white, overlap, and then start bringing it towards the center. I'm gonna just bring us a little bit more color just on the center part so it's just not so empty. And some white to soften it up.
just like so. So it's just a nice gradual progression as you get towards the pineapple. So like I said before, you don't have to do the pink. You could do a different color. You could do a different style completely. Really just up to you. Um, but what's cool about this style is that you don't have to worry about getting too close to the pineapple. It just makes it a little easier. So now I'm going to take my big brush. I stuck it in the water, let it sit, and I'm going to my small little brush. So we're going to go back to our pineapple. And on the pineapple, there are these white crisscrossy lines. See that? Just a little bit. So we're just going to lightly put those in. So a little brush with the white. And all you do is you're going to start at the top right corner of your pineapple. And from there, I'm going to do a diagonal line, but it's not going to be straight. Remember, we want it to kind of look quasi three dimensional. I mean, we add a little bit of shade. So from the top right, I'm going to slightly curve my diagonal line towards the left side. And then I'm going to make another one. So I'm going to leave a space. So however many, how much space you want. That's how much you need. It's really up to you. Um, for me, I'm going to leave about two inches in between. So I'm going to start about right here. I'm going to do another crisscross. So just slightly curved. You want to keep it pretty parallel. And then I'm going to do another one, same distance down. I mean, as best as you can. Don't worry about it if it's a little too close or too far. Our pineapple has character. So I went all the way down, so there was no more room. Kept trying to keep about the same amount of space. And now I'm gonna just finish it up. There's room for one more little guy right up here on mine. But again, it's just gonna depend on how big your pineapple is. You might not have the room for that. So here are the lines. They're about the same distance apart. It's just a slight curve, okay? So now we want to do a crisscross. We're going to do the same thing we did on the right side, but now we're going to start on the left. So on the left, we're going to start right over here, right about where the hair stops, and I'm going to do a slight diagonal towards the right, little curve, all the way to the other side. And I'm going to do the same thing where I want to leave about the same amount of space as I did on the right, I'm going to leave on the left. I'm going to go all the way till I can't go anymore. So you should have a nice crisscross going on. So we just put in our white crisscrosses, right? So we did slight diagonal curve, boom, boom, boom on the right, and the same thing on the left. And now we're going to go back to our hair. So we're going to let our pineapple sit for a little bit and move on up to the hair. So we're still with our little brush. And now we're going to add some definition into the hair. Because right now it's just all green, right? So we need to make it look like they're separate, individual. We need to add some shading. So we do different tones of green to make it look like it, there's some dimension to it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to start with is a darker tone. So I'm going to mix with my small brush a little bit of green and a little bit of blue. I'm going to make a nice deeper color. So with that deeper color, I'm going to first hug the base of my hair, right? So of my leaf, that little U. I'm going over with that bluey green. All right, giving it a little hug. Just the U part for now. Okay, once you're done putting in the U, 
I'm going to start flicking it up towards the top. So I'm going to just kind of fill it in, but I'm filling it in with flicky strokes. So starting from the base and flicking up, starting from the base and flicking up, just like that. So it kind of gives it some texture, but it also gives it some shading at the same time as well. So I'm going to do that for all three of the leaves in the front. So we're just going to, with that blue-green mixture, I'm just going to hug it, hug the U. And then just start filling in that center part just with some flicks. So you're going to see some green peeking through, and that's cool. That's what you want. So that blue-green that you mix should be slightly darker, so you should be able to see the difference. Now we're going to do that same thing with these guys that are in the distance. You're going to actually outline that little back space, right? The bottom of where it peeks through, it's kind of like a V where it's right in between these two leaves. So I'm going to just outline that little part right there and then just flick up same way as we did before from that V. Okay? So same thing right here. I'm just outlining right where it starts like a V and then flick 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 flick. Up 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 up. So we're starting to get some dimension in our hair. All right, so once you're done putting in that bluey green, now we're actually gonna make even a darker tone. So now we're gonna add a little bit of black, just a little bit, black's really strong. So we're gonna add a little bit of black to our mix. And with that black, we're gonna add even more definition. So, all I'm going to do for the blacky, it's like the blacky blue green, right? So we did, we had green, we mixed some blue in there, and now we just added a little bit of black. So with that color, we're just going to go along the base. We're just going to scoop it up, going right over that blue green that we did. And then I'm just going to do a few strokes up on the left side. Just a few strokes up. That's it. So I'm not going all the way across just a little bit on the left. So again, I hugged it, I did that U, but then I just pulled it through the left side. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the same thing with this middle guy. I'm gonna go around the U, and I'm gonna go all the way up the left side, almost all the way to the tip, but not quite and then flick, 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 just about halfway. So it should be kind of blending in a little bit with your other layers, and that's good. That's why we're purposely doing it while it's still wet. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing with this right guy. We're gonna hug it with our U, go around the U, go up the left side, Flick, 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 just halfway. So now I'm just going to kind of fill in just a little bit of the gaps in here. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I don't like how it goes up so much. So I'm just going to fill in just a little bit with that same black mixture that we just created, just so it's a little smoother on mine. Yours might not even have it, but if you do, you just don't want it to be so pokey. You don't want so much yellow going in between up here. That's all. All right, so now we're going to go to these back two guys, right, the ones that are peeking through. And this time, we're going to still outline that bottom piece, that V, 
and we're just going to be pulling it through just halfway up. So you're going to see essentially that green, the blue green, and then your black mixture, right? So I'm not going quite as high as I did with that blue green mix. So at the end of the day, I mean, these are just the hair, the leaves. You know, if it's not exact, it's okay. It's still going to be a really cool pineapple. We're just getting fancy, that's all. We're just getting fancy with the blending. So once you're done blending in your hair, right, your leaf hair, now we're going to start working on the face. This part is super fun. So this is where you could get really creative with the face. So I'm going to show you how to make this exact style of sunglasses, um, but you can feel free to make your own style. You could be a sunglass designer today. So you could give them like star sunglasses, heart sunglasses, 80s rock star sunglasses, whatever you want. But I'm gonna show you where the sunglasses go, okay? So I'm using my small brush. I'm gonna dip it in the black. And now whenever we are using black, especially to um, like put on sunglasses or face or anything like that, and kind, of, kind of those details, you want to be really light to the touch. The lighter you touch your canvas, the thinner your line will be. If you smush your paintbrush into the canvas, you're going to get a fat, crazy line. So you want to just make sure to be really light to the touch. Um, you could always make things bigger. It's a lot harder to make things smaller. Okay. So. What you're going to do is if you're going to cut, if you just imagine cutting your pineapple right in half, okay? I'm going to find the center. From there, I'm going to go up just about an inch. I'm going to make a dot, okay? That's going to be the top of the nose, right? Top of the nose. So from there, I'm going to make an upside down V. So very lightly, I'm going to do a line to the left at a diagonal from my dot and a line from my dot down to the right. That's where the nose is going to come out. Once you're done making your V, I'm going to go to the top of my sunglasses and I'm going to do a line. This is going to be the very top and the line is going to go right through that V, right? So right through that original point. And I'm going to bring this line all the way to the edge. And this one's going to go all the way to the other side. So we did an upside down V. Then we did a line going through the very top point of the V. And now I'm going to go back down here. So where I ended my V is where I'm going to do the bottom of the sunglasses, where it kind of sits on your cheek. Right, so right here, I'm gonna start on the right hand side, right here where the V ends, and I'm gonna go parallel to the top line. So I'm gonna do a line across. I'm not gonna go all the way to the end. Right before the end, I'm gonna connect it with the diagonal to the top of my sunglasses. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on the left side. So I'm gonna do a line towards the left now. And right before it hits the edge, I'm gonna do a diagonal line. Okay, so that's your outline of the sunglasses. So now all you're gonna do is we're gonna start filling it in. And you can start rounding the edges if you want. If you don't want these so pointy, you could kind of round the edge a little like a little C. A backward C on the other side. If you want to kind of curve it and soften it up, you can make a little curve for the nose. So really up to you how you want to personalize. Or if you want a completely different direction and do a different style sunglass, that's cool too. Whatever you prefer.
So interesting with this painting to always see how creative everyone is. All right, so when you're done with the sunglasses, now you're gonna go to the mouth. So I just have just a simple smiley face, but you could be creative, you could do a different kind of face if you want, up to you, but I'm just doing a simple, just scoop smiley face. My pineapple is just chilling. Now this section on the left, where I wrote aloha and cursive, um, you really can write whatever you want right here. You could put whatever you want here. I'm gonna give you some time now to really be creative. You could write your name, you could write a quote, really whatever you wanna do if you're giving it as a gift, a little message, um, or any kind of design you wanna do. So this area is really open for you to do. All right, so if you want to take a break from the background or the face right now, we're going to go back to the hair. So we did a lot of the shading and the low lights. Now we need to do a little bit of a highlight. So you're going to take your little brush, you're going to dip it in the white, 
and just very lightly on the opposite side of where we did the dark, which is gonna be on the right side, for the ones in the front, I'm just gonna do a few strokes, just pulling up on my leaf. So I just did a few long strokes, just for a highlight. And then the same thing in all these big guys. Maybe one going up the middle. Makes it pop a little bit, a little bit of a highlight. And the guys in the back, it's only gonna be like a little bit on the right, just a little bit. So it's always the right side, or I should say the opposite side of where the shade is. All right, and while you still have white on your brush, we're now gonna put just a little bit of a highlight on your sunglasses. So just very lightly, just a little bit in from the top, I'm gonna to do a parallel line going through both sides of the sunglasses, the right and the left. Just a little highlight. So you should have the face pretty much done, the background, you might still wanna play with it even after class, adding some stuff, um, feel free. Um, we should have the low lights and the highlights in the hair. So this is just a really fun painting to do. Um, it's not super difficult, right? We try to use some basic steps, but it's really fun to personalize. You can make another one if you'd like, um, just with a different style. Um, you can make a whole family of pineapples, whatever you want, but it's just, just really a fun, fun painting to do, just to add some sunshine to your day. So if you are done or when you are done, uh, please, please um, tag us on Facebook or Instagram at Splash Art Class. We'd love to see what you've done um, and show it off. I hope you had a great time. I had a wonderful time painting with you. Um, please go back onto our calendar, see what other classes we have. We're always adding. Do remember to put your brushes in the water when you're done, clean them, let them dry so that way it'll elongate the life of your brushes.